In this video, we're down at the National Ploughing Championships, the biggest show in Ireland and one of the biggest agricultural shows in Europe. Myself and my sister Joanne were down competing at the shearing, which turned out to be a very entertaining competition, particularly the open final, which was a nail biter. <laughs> We also had fun walking around the show and we got to talk to some familiar faces along the way. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Queuing up for a crepe at half eight in the morning. Would mum and dad let you do that if you're at home? When the cat's away, the mice will play. We got the crepes. Show me your out. <laughs> Happy girl. Keep the brother and sister at bay. It's your aunt of any on stand number one. And they carry it on stand number three. Well, I won the All Ireland dozens of times along with the NPA All Ireland Lamb Shearing title as well. Down and out the back, like he goes, Carl Delaney, down to the flank goes Carl. So it was just blow for blow at the moment. Who's going to get the top first? And it's Ivan. Just a blow ahead of Carl there, and they're in and out with sheet number two. That's Ivan spot there on stand. Number one, and he's out now with his fifth and final on the board for Ivan Scott. Just done the open heats, had a shear in the senior and the open. I'm here with Glenn Sheep Shepherd having a shear with my old mate Ivan in the open heat, and it was good on crack. It was yeah. tuck for tuck. Yeah. Ivan, obviously, is a, wor a world champion shearer, yeah. and like in fairness, you stuck you stuck with him sheep for sheep. I wanted to give you a chance, so that's why I'm not hindering the shearing this year. So to uh, Sligo me to shame. We're gonna have a huge, <laughs> we're gonna have a huge old big talk here. <laughs> You'll see, I went shaving and they left me tash, and that's because. Glenn's old fella, he's a hero of mine, you know. Give John a, Egan, he's some man. He's a black tash and he's, 70, <laughs> he's 74 years of age. John is doing all the work and then and Glenn is just holding the cameras, all he's doing. <laughs> I'm going to go back home now to Kerry and do a bit of work. To hell with the ploughing and to hell with YouTube. <laughs> Another shower came and it's gotten, it's gotten that wet that the, the Coast Guard's been called in. <laughs> One Valter, two Valtry. So now we're watching the man on three. Put your hands together for Carl Levani. So now we're watching the man on three. Leg goes Stanley, pumping in those blows into the first time. Leg goes Ivan. He's a good cheap there this time. Pumping in those blows and away he goes. Edmund here, Ron, the big one. They're up the neck together. This is what we're losing from battle. Touchdown to the first one and another long way. It's Stanley, it's Ivan, it's Ivan, it's Stanley, and don't forget about Carl. They step over together now. Who's going to get to the park first? Who's going to get the board? Stanley, a blow ahead of Ivan down to the shoulder. Down the last side, the top. Jay, on, get the big two. Two more is left for Carl Devaney, the NPA of Ireland final. Carl Devaney, it is the Sligo man. 
Put your hands together for the Northern finalists. And we have three or four seats to see her off there. Just three or four seats to see her off. And straight away after that will be. So that's the shearing done. Stanley made a fool out of me. And Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> The old dogs for the hard road and the puppy for the footpath, and that's the saying, isn't it? Not bad for a bald-headed fat fellow with man breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, hey. Oh, sun crack. We'll have a wee look around this show and see if, <laughs> see if there's anything fun. Since I've got such characters with me. <laughs> Day three of the ploughing. Day two for us. Still pretty muddy. Trying to navigate our way in here. Jazz is looking very good in her unit YouTube gear. I've got a sheep game hoodie on. Nice tartan one I bought off Cami yesterday. The system set up the, the marketing, the, the, the distribution and delivery across the world of our you know, Irish dairy. So, I think we're very so we're looking at establishing swords here in Chagas. Got nice green grass. Jazz was in Glenif early in the week. She's very hopeful that we can do something. <laughs> turn turn bog into grass. <laughs> Interesting stuff. So I'm here in the sheep tent, just having a wee look around. I spotted this man over here, he's a UCD man, what's your name? Kevin Swift. Kevin Swift is from, he's in second year in UCD. I was, a couple of moons ago I was in UCD myself. You're at the Blue Textiles, you're on the stand here. You have Blue Textiles at, in at home too, have you? Yeah, I breed, yeah. I keep about 10 pedigree Blue Textiles Lovely and stuff. we use Blue Textile pedigree rams on our commercial flock. What drew you to the Blue Textiles? Ah, oh, they're very easy lambs. We use them first on your lambs, that's what we purchase them for. I know myself, I mean, I'm a hill farmer, we land them outside up on the hill and it's very important that sheep are easy yeah, lamb. Because there's them. a high chance that they'll be lambing by themselves. Exactly. Carol yeah. Devaney is not going to be there to <laughs> see them when it happens, so let her have it themselves. And what fault would you find with them? That not enough people are using them. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> a like lot of hill farmers them. are starting to use the blue textile rams now to yeah. add confirmation and make an easier finishing lamb. Yeah. And they yeah. still have the easy lambing qualities, hardy lambs that they don't have to be worrying about yeah. going out and pulling lambs or trying to get them to suck yeah. Very good. straight away. Yeah. I'm here on the Zwarbel stand with the boys. How are you doing, boys? Very good. So very interesting because Zwarbels have an interesting gestation method that even rams can have lambs eventually. <laughs> But well, it's 2023, so anything is possible. Nice fella, isn't he? So we're here in the organic tent, and I'm after bumping into Andrew, who is teaching me at the moment, for the organic course, which you have to do in order to become an organic farmer. So it's going well. What kind of a student am I? The worst kind. <laughs> Cheeky, asks too many questions, and doesn't listen We've to We've got the thing. test next week now, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I might slip him a couple of 50s and I was we'll say, get over the line. <laughs> when the brown envelope comes, if it doesn't hit the floor with yeah. a bit of a thunk, then it's not Then I'm going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew has 50 alpacas. He had an alpaca, a bale of alpaca wool, 300 bale, and how much was it worth? 6,000 euro. 6,000 euro. Yeah, and that's Unbelievable. Just as, just a bale of wool. wool. And we will, we will make that into probably 100,000 euro yeah. by processing it. We I mean, or will someone the next person after you? Well, no. Because we'll, we'll, we'll process that all ourselves and we'll sell that off the farm directly. Oh, brilliant. So we'll send it away to be processed and produce our products and then we'll turn that into money yeah. for the next That's fantastic. That's all right. So yeah. That's an excellent and, way to. And shear them better too. Shear them on a table might yes. put up a bit of footage we'll, of that we'll too. We'll give them the best shearing welfare that we possibly can. Yes, yeah, yeah. You just don't shear alpacas like a sheep. Kieran's an organic farmer and we've been chatting a little bit on Instagram. But Kieran, like, they have 50 sheep. He sends away the wool. Uh, gets it over to the UK in order to be processed and then comes back as yarn. At the moment he's sold out, it doesn't have enough wool to meet demand. I will, can I give you some horny wool, would that be any good to you? Uh, do you know what, I'll look into it and I'll be able to get back to you uh, when we can incorporate into something. You might give me 20 cent a kilo instead of 5. <laughs> so come over to chat, my mate Phil, and I've got a bit of merch on me. I was over at the toilet and I was waiting and I saw it was uh, Plough in 2022 from Farmer Phil, that's what come up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You having a good show, are you? I am having a great show now. The voice is just about to start to break now, so... <laughs> it's a hectic three days. You probably want a it week is. off after, oh, really. it is, yeah. No, I'll be doing well now. Tomorrow now it'll be quiet, and then back to it Saturday Yeah, now. people, maybe about seven or eight people have stopped me for photos for the yeah. day, and I'd be kind of, whew, you know, it's a lot of talking. Like, so it's probably times 50 for you. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's, it's busy, but it's it's different. Like, it's mm. it's hard to explain, but you know yourself, like... It's a different, yeah, but you're yeah. tired after doing oh, a lot no, of talking. I am, I'm tired now, but look, <laughs> you just... You yeah. plow on oh, tough through. it out. Oh, you tough it out. Bay it yeah. on. Bay on. That's it, exactly. <laughs> That's it, yeah. So, in all my years of coming to the plowing, I've never actually seen the plowing. And you still haven't because I think they've all finished now. Yeah, and we're not going to see it this year either. Because they're all going home. 
tractors, it. tractors are all going home now as we speak. So I don't know the judging it is it finished or what, but it's evening time now, and we missed it. So maybe next year. <laughs> maybe next year. But sure, look, we'll have a look at the finished product. Like, look at that. Oh, look at them roads. Oh, there's some fine roads, Jazz, aren't they? Oh, they are oh man, something else. <laughs> They're a lot drier than the field. We're gonna have to try and drive out of anyway. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> So we're walking for the Jeep. <laughs> Which is like 15 minutes away through yes. the muddy field. The traction isn't great here <laughs> with this field, but we have a happy baby because she's a bag of sweets. <laughs> that cost like so much. <laughs> I've taken out a mortgage to uh, eat all this yeah, sugar. Yeah, 15 euro for a little bag. <laughs> That's the national plan for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you for the next one. Bye.